people gather here from all over to see salmon heading upstream. They like go from side to side to lay eggs and do the like the, the matchmaking and like creating new life. Those fish, a staple of BC's economy, are facing growing threats from drought, less snow and low water levels. All take a toll. This year in particular is alarming is because we didn't really rebuild those glacier-driven, snow-driven rivers. And so now we're starting to see the consequences of that play out. And it's not just drought. Wildfires and storms can also hurt fish. They end up uh, experiencing a lot more stress and potentially, um, you know, deaths and strandings. The federal fishery says they are working with First Nations to rebuild shorelines and replant cottonwood trees to offer shade and stability, especially in places hit by wildfire and drought. First Nations leaders along the Fraser River want more done. It's concerning for me because in the past 20 years, I've been saying the water's getting warmer. Today off the coast of Haida Gwaii, this fisherman hopes his catch is a sign that salmon are adapting to climate change. The first three uh, lines that we checked and there was a fish on every hook so that gives you some uh, sense of uh, the abundance of fish that uh, we're encountering up here. But low river levels this year could spell disaster. To lose the, the salmon, to be able to watch them do their thing, uh, the food that they provide to the other wildlife, you know, just the natural cycle of things would be devastating. And ecologists say the impacts may not show up for another four years. Yvette Brent, CBC News, Vancouver.